I've had lots to say about what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's plan is for Man United this season, and so have you. Thousands of comments on those videos, so it's great to have you all involved so far. But now it's time to hear from Solskjaer himself on how that plan is developing. Will Paul Popper be part of it? Will he be sold this summer? What other new signings will follow Dan James and Aaron Wan-Bissaka? And just as importantly, what players will be sold this summer? I'm going to run through all of Solskjaer's main talking points from his first press conference of the season ahead of United's preseason game against Perth Glory this weekend. Now, before I begin, this video is sponsored by Unibet, who are supporting United People's TV through this transfer window. If all the transfer content on here isn't enough for you, make sure you follow the link in the description. Head over to the Unibet blog, where there is a lot of original and insightful content, United content, are based around this transfer window. So make sure you head over there. As I said, the link is in the description, but let's get straight into talking about Solskjaer's first press conference this summer. Where else can you start other than Paul Pogba? It's gonna be the story of the summer, whether he stays or whether he's sold, but what does Solskjaer want to do? And what has Solskjaer seen since Pogba's return to pre-season training? This is what he's had to say about Pogba. He said, Paul's never been a concern for me. When he's on the pitch, he's working hard. He's a true professional. He's a proud boy. Same answer again, I can't be sitting here talking about Paul and what agents are saying. We've got a few years left on his contract and he's been fantastic since he's come back from training. So it's clear that Pop has been making all the right noises to Solskjaer since returning for pre-season training. And it's no surprise here to see Solskjaer's not throwing him under the bus. It's not his style of management, that was Mourinho's. Solskjaer takes a softer approach, a more tries to man-manage the players a little bit differently. But we all know in this whole situation that Popper isn't the core of the problem. The Chernobyl nuclear reactor 4, that's Mineraola. He's the core of everything. And that's why we know this is going to go on all summer long. Paul Popper is not innocent in all of this. Those comments out when he was in China fueled the fire. But with Raiola's talking in Popper's ear constantly, it's inevitable. And that's why I think this is inevitable this last all summer long. But what I also feel is inevitable is that I don't think Pogba will leave this summer. I feel it's clear that United have no intention of selling Pogba. And why would they? He's our best player. He's our most valuable player. He's our most valuable marketing asset. So from every angle, both footballing and as a business, selling Pogba isn't the right decision. But if he doesn't want to be here, that changes things. That being said, I don't think Solskjaer and United are capable of replacing Paul Pogba this summer. So I think if Pogba does leave, which I feel he will, it's going to be next year. I feel we're going to get one more season out of it. Maybe there's going to be promises made to Pogba. I don't know. But I don't feel that United will be able to replace Pogba this summer. I fear for being able to replace him next summer. But United will, I feel, stand firm. Solskjaer will stand firm. And Pogba will be in that starting eleven against Chelsea. And I think once that happens, maybe we're going to see an upturn in Pogba's mood and his form. I don't know. But I just don't think United will let Pogba go this summer. Not unless Real Madrid come in with a substantial cash bid. And by the sounds of it, because they spent so much on the likes of Hazard and all the fucking signings they've been making, nearly 300 mil they've already spent. They can't afford that. So because of that, I can't see Pogba leaving. Not this summer. As well as talking about Pogba, Solskjaer was questioned on new signings and whether United was still active in the transfer market. He said, we are still in the market, we want more deals, we don't have to sell, but we also don't have to overpay. Looking at our squad now, we have a good squad. This squad will have to be more robust once the season gets going. Now, I think it's very questionable whether we have a good squad there, Oli. You know, in defence, we're desperately short at centre-back. In midfield, we're desperately short everywhere. Central midfield and defensive midfield and attacking midfield. Up front, we didn't score enough goals last season. I think it's questionable to say whether this squad is good. But we all know that we are active in this summer transfer window. We've got Dan James, we've got Aaron wan -Bissaka, we're after Harry Maguire, Bruno Fernandes and Sean Longstaff. They're on the radar too. And if all five of those signings are completed, I would say that United do have a good squad. But as it currently stands, United don't. And I think Solskjaer is sort of putting the wool over his eyes there, putting the wool over our eyes. But we can see through it. It's not a very good squad at the moment. Certainly not as good as City, Liverpool... Spurs, I'd say Wolves have got a better team as well. <sighs> Leicester have got a better team. United have got a lot of work to do. But if we do complete all these signings, we get Maguire in, and those two central midfield, I think we'll be in a good place next year. There's still plenty more to do. And I think Oli knows that as well. As for United selling players, 
This is what Ole had to say. He said, I can see your point about not selling players so far, but doing business in the football market is not going to be a quick fix. We have players here who I trust. There are fantastic players here. Loads of players I know are going to be successful at this club. Now, there's been quite a lot of angry reaction to this. Because, let's rewind to what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said after the humiliating defeat against Everton at Goodison Park. We've, uh, we've got... We can't change the whole squad, in, uh, in, but it's got to be one step at a time. And I've said all along, I'm, I'm going to be successful here. And the players there, that won't be part of that successful team. On the one hand, you've got Solskjaer there, who's angry after that Everton game, saying, I'm going to be successful. There's loads of players here that won't be there with me. On the other hand, you've got him saying he's got a fantastic set of squad of players that, players that he trusts contradicting himself. And what Solskjaer has to do here is follow through on his comments that he's going to be ruthless this summer. That the players that aren't good enough for United will not play for United next season. And for, to, to really get the trust of the fans, he's got to follow through on those comments. But it's a tough situation because Solskjaer is not in charge of selling the players. And the players that we want to get rid of are average players on big wages. That makes it more difficult. Both of those combined means it's a, it's a tough scenario. And ultimately, it's down to Ed Woodward and Matt Judge to sell players and to buy players. They are the ones that control the transfers. Solskjaer said he's got the final say, though, on the players that come in and go out. So it, Solskjaer is directly involved. And for him to really gain the trust of United fans next season, even those that feel that he's just a walking cliche, that he says all the right things but doesn't actually do anything about it, be ruthless, Ollie. Get rid of those players that aren't good enough. Alexis Sanchez, get out of my club. Marcus Rojo, Matteo Darmian, Phil Jones have had enough of as well. These players have to leave. There's no way in hell that we can see Phil Jones getting minutes ahead of Axel Tuanzebe next season. That can't happen. And Solskjaer's got to follow through on his comments after the Everton game for it to be a successful summer because as much as the good signings are important, selling the wrong players is just as important. Moving on from Pogba, from buying players, from selling players, looking at the most exciting academy player that we've got coming through right now, Mason Greenwood. And Solskjaer clearly has him in his plans for next season. He said Mason will definitely play more games. He has grown over the summer and I think his confidence has grown too after the Cardiff game as he was our best player. Now Greenwood, importantly, has stayed injury free through the preseason, and clearly he's making the right impressions. And he's a gifted young footballer. Only 17 comfortable off both feet and that's rare in a young footballer these days he's got more natural attributes than Marcus Rashford did before he burst onto the scene against Midtjylland he seems to be an all a more all-rounded type of attacker and it's exciting and this is the summer this is the season where he can break through into a team because you're looking at United's attacking options with Rashford is our number nine Martial last season were questionable Lukaku might leave. Sanchez, hopefully he does leave. There's room in that squad for somebody to take their opportunity with both hands. And I hope to God it's Mason Greenwood. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is the right manager to get the best out of him. He will give him real opportunities next year. And maybe we can see another Rashford type burst onto the scene of a young academy player with bags of talent who just needs the platform to do it. And Greenwood is a real reason to be excited this season. Then you look at Angel Gomez. Could he get chances? Tahit Chong. Axel Tuenzebe. Can he come back into that central defence? There's lots of exciting attacking and defensive academy players that could come through this season. And I do feel that's one thing that Solskjaer will get right. He will give them the chances. It's whether or not they take them. And I hope to God that Mason Greenwood does. I mean, there really were a lot of points discussed by Solskjaer in that press conference, his first press conference of the summer. But what's your take on his comments about Paul Pogba? Do you think Pogba will be sold or do you think he'll be here next season? What other new signings do you still expect to happen? Do you think maybe United are done yet? I don't think so. I think we've got at least two, maybe three more signings to make. And just as importantly, what players do you want to see sold? What players do you think Solskjaer actually wants to sell? Maybe that's the more important question. But let me know what you think about Solskjaer's first press conference of the summer. Lots of questions, lots of comments. Now I want to hear yours as always. Until next time though, take it easy.